So here's a question. We came all this way to Rena on the assumption the Renna's almost here, right? Don't. Just don't say it, Law. Yeah, but I'm just saying... I said don't. <laughs> <sighs> I can understand why you might be concerned, Law. But you need to remember that there are people it affects more directly than you. <laughs> oh, sorry. We've managed to make it this far believing. Losing faith now won't do us any good. We're better off focusing our anxiety elsewhere. Such as? The Great Spirit. If Hevrecht 35's to be believed, our enemy won't just be handing over the Renus Alma to us. At least, not without a fight. Not only that, but that same enemy just gulped down more than an entire world's worth of astral energy. Hmm, point taken. It may be strange to say, but when I'm fighting, or at least know what needs to be done, it helps me a lot. I don't doubt myself as much. So thanks, both of you. <sighs> the floor's on the ceiling and the ceiling's on the floor. This whole thing's making my head spin. Why would they even do something like this? The Helganquil can bend life forms to suit their will. Nothing they could do at this point would surprise me. The ceiling is on the floor! That doesn't weird you out? What good is a team made up of members who all share the same opinions on everything? And besides, when you get to be at my ripe old age, one begins to consider it quite uncouth to show one's true emotions at times. Oh, come on, Grandpa. You can't be that old. The sands of time wait for none of us, lad. Yeah, we'll see. Though at this rate, I guess I'll have to live long enough to get as old as you first, huh? You will. And when the time comes, I look forward to hearing you change your tune on the matter. creating weaponry. Sorry. Yeah. Three lanterns! Now, let's go with 
Shiny mood. I won't forgive you! You're mine! Dance in the wind! Blue Air away! Air drop! Oh, Annihilate her! You're by the power of flame! No. It's, it's a tool of the art! The flame inside me! Sure! To be left free! Pesky airborne scoundrels! Sounds like a job for yours You're truly! I'll face you! I don't even fight. know the word defeat. The enemy wields arcs too. You'll soon see about that. You get the death. Air drop. A world drop. It's time to finish this. Die. Consuming wildfire. Here I come! Turn the tables on him! There are still no more left! Right! No time to hold back! We must be tired to kill him. I'm merely doing what I can. Glad you're on us. Hitting fire! Hitting flame of fury! Here my call! Here my call! Here my call! Here my call! Light burst forth! Radiant Genesis! You don't mess around! Certainly not. Well, am I improving? Tremendously. The speed and precision of your aim is simply unmatched. I... I had no idea you were watching me so closely. This will make us even more formidable.
Got fire! I've got this! Let a fire in your hand! Illuminate the clock! All yours! Ready, ready! Let's change between heaven where and where are you going! Let my clock! Away from the lightning! Divide and execution! Crush! Thunderfang! Not a chance! Not so slow now! You fight better at a distance. The further away, the better. You and I both. Our superiority was undeniable. It feels invigorating to dominate a battle. I was certain I saw you yawn. Come now, I'm certainly not that relaxed. An opponent like this should be easy. Water, here you my picked the wrong fight. Black and blue. Here I come! Radiant storm! Raining flash! Try this! No! Can't get here! Don't give up! I'll bring you back from Death's Abyss! Tempest? Yeah. Resuscitation! Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Not going to get here! That's right, my turn! Hear me! Flame of Fury! Burning Fire! Glacial Spear! Piercing Heal! 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 than I expected. An opponent like this should be easy. Not today! Be careful, everyone. This one is the normal. Ready and rare! Your art is really incredible. It's thanks to you I can use them. But I promise I'll always be here. Your astral arts are truly incredible. Every little bit helps. Indeed it does. I'll keep pushing to be better as well. Flame inside 
Close for comfort. Oh, this looks nice and tough. Oh, man. 
see what you've got. Airborne scoundrels! Sounds like a job for yours truly! Away with the nuclear seal! Now, no aim! This one's got your name on it! Pass to action! A melee destruction! There's still more to go! combination, aren't we? What can I say? I had a good partner. That equipment should come in handy. Victory is within reach. 
dig deep, and we can do this. No, I I'm sure even better than ever. I've never seen someone actually really I'm ready. Next, not We're Wow, look what I just found. Undeniable. It feels invigorating to dominate a battle. I was certain I saw you yawn. Come now, I'm certainly not that relaxed. This curse haunts you. Take this! Get the wind. I'll take you all off! Ready to What? Not in your dreams! Move it! Move it! Magic the is the power of the The blacking is my weak point. 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 The 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 you made quick work of them! I have plenty of tricks up my sleeve, young lady. I have to see them sometimes! Ignite! Charge on that easily be faithful. Just as well, I'm here to stop. Power of the earth! 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 Am I on a roll or what? Well, look who's in a bright and shiny mood. Go no further! Strike! Here my call! Huh. You're mine! I will hear you all! Ready! Ready to go! Healing circle! Hey, blood! Huh. Blood! Huh. Blood! Huh. You're mine! I'm sorry for trouble. You do the same thing again. Destruction! Ah. Thunderbird! Close one! Double demon fang! Let's the flaming fire! Yours! I'll burn it all! Ah! Flaming pillar! Fire! You're mine! On your knees! Flame! 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 
Long fight! Lunar Blast! Oh, Lunar Blast! Lightning Orb! More with that! Forgive me. This is my fight. Rain down and purify all Bloody howling! On your knees. Field! Lunar Blast! Lunar Blast! do it! Benediction Light! Heal! Rain Leave the enemy's arc to me! Here. I don't even know the word to speak. Destroying Those astral arcs of yours are pretty impressive. Thanks. You're full of surprises yourself. The Zoogles here are putting up a real fight. That just goes to show how important this place is. Or perhaps they simply thrived freely here under such harsh conditions. I don't give a damn why they're here. We'll burn it all to the ground. energy here is so dense. It's like trying to walk through water. I know the Great Spirit's will is in the center of Rena, but with the world in this state, the entire planet has become its body, right? So doesn't that mean we're already inside it? I would say that is horrifyingly correct. After all, the further we climb, the denser the astral energy becomes. <sighs> What's the matter, Rinwell? Are you not feeling all right? No, it's nothing like that. It just feels like the energy here is a little more intense than it was before. You mean Rena's energy? Yeah. It's like when I made contact with Dana's will in the Wedge. It's almost as though I can understand what Rena's will is thinking. But Rena's will is supposed to be a lot stronger. Aren't we risking the Great Spirit controlling us if we interact with it directly? I don't think we have to worry about that. Renna's will is only supposed to control true Renans, like the Helganquil. If we can discern what the Great Spirit is thinking too, we might learn something, a weakness. But just to be safe, let me contact it alone. Are you insane? Renwell, you're gonna... <gasps> Renwell! There was only meant to be one world. And your goal is to make them one. Is this fear? Right? Rinwell? Rinwell! Are you okay? No, I'm... I'm fine. I think... What were you thinking? You could have gotten yourself killed! He's right. You had us all terrified, Rinwell. I'm sorry. I really, really am. But... but... I know now! I know how the Great Spirit thinks! I know what it wants! How it feels! Brenna's Great Spirit wants to complete the world. What's that supposed to mean? Are you saying it's trying to make something? Yes, exactly. Originally, Dana and Rena were meant to be one world. But that never happened. They've stayed separated, and the Great Spirit wants to finish the process. What do you mean, one world? How is that even possible? I don't know, but its will is clear. That's what the Great Spirit is trying to accomplish. The only problem is that since Rena's energy isn't evenly spread like Dana's, it seems like it'll vanish before that happens naturally. So it's trying to absorb Dana while it still can, so that it can force the two planets to unite. 
Is that what you're saying? <laughs> the great spirit is scared. But it's not scared the way a rational person would be. It's more raw and undiluted. Like just pure fear. Like an animal, acting out of instinct. Although admittedly, an animal would be easier to communicate with. At the very least, I have my doubts that it recognizes us as sentient beings with a reason for coming here. Earth, water, fire, and wind energy exist in both worlds, but only darkness and light can be found within Rena and Dana, respectively. The Renis Alma, as far as we know, the only host capable of harvesting the astral energy, is composed of all six. Knowing all that, Rinwell's findings do sound plausible. That sounds a lot like Xion's thorns, doesn't it? The whole reason the Great Spirit is trying to unite Dana and Rena into one world is in order to save itself. And if her thorns are part of the Great Spirit, then they must also be trying to save themselves? Alfin, what is it? We thought the only way to free your thorns was for you to die. Yet despite that, they seem to be doing everything in their power to stop that from happening to you. Something wasn't adding up. But then I just realized something. If the Great Spirit doesn't want to die, then neither would your thorns. Those same emotions, that fear, that determination, and its energy must have been the same thing that was keeping you alive. You were its vessel. In that case, is that why her thorns caused so much pain to anyone who touched her? Because they were trying to protect themselves? If that's all true, then... Well, it's more than a little ironic. The Great Spirit merely expresses its desires. I imagine it was the Helganquil who were likely tasked with putting together and implementing an actual plan. Xion... I'm okay. We need to hurry and clean this mess up before it gets out of hand. Still, even if the current state of the world is wrong like you said, does that really make everything okay? If the world had been whole from the start, as it should have been, there'd be no Dana and no Rena, no masters or slaves, no lords, no crown contest, maybe just peace. To think, all this started because of the Great Spirit's desire to keep living. The only reason it craves energy is because it's dying from starvation. When you think about it like that, maybe the things it's done aren't so strange after all. If Rena had been more like Dana, things would have worked out a whole lot better. It's like Heverick 35 told us. The Danan and Renan spirits are meant to be completely different beings. Rena's energy amassing in one place led to its developing a powerful will. But that also made it crave energy, sapping Rena dry until it perished. Whereas Dana's energy is dispersed, meaning its will never developed to the same extent. And without that hunger, Dana the planet was spared. As for which is correct, well, I'm not sure it's our place to even say. Still, I can't help but think it reminds me a lot of the dichotomy of the human condition. Dichotomy? What do you mean? Those who know not satisfaction are driven to keep devouring without limit. But those who are content with their lot in life rarely fulfill their potential. I imagine it's likely that the larger Rena's great spirit grew, the more and more powerful its hunger also became. Everything in moderation. When all said and done, maybe that's the hardest thing for people to learn.